sequel to the upsurge of terrorism and insurgency in the Northeast between 2014 and 2015. The armed forces of Nigeria, under the auspices of Lafia Dole, were charged to upscale military operations in the general area and flush out the terrorist marooding across the swathe of the Northeast. Consequently, since 2015, troops of Operation Lafia Dole have continued to take the battle to the insurgents. Neutralizing hundreds and capturing both terrorist fighters and equipment. In this episode, we take a look at the concerted efforts of troops of Operation Lafia Dole in fighting the insurgents through the conduct of aggressive clearance operations, fighting patrols, ambushes, and raids, among others, towards improving the general security situation in the Northeast. For so long, the battle has raged across the vast desert plains of northeast Nigeria, from Goza to Kunduga, Damasak to Baga. The gallant troops of Operation Lafia Dole have remained resolute, defending the territorial integrity of our dear country with fervor, determination, and the patriotic zeal of die-hard citizens. It is dawn, and the troops prepare to advance into the heartland of Zambisa to flush the adversary from the general area. Indeed, it promises to be the mother of all battles, a battle for the ages, the capture of Zambisa. Knowing the task which lies ahead, the military high command deploys all essential and available resources to the front from T-72 main battle tanks to 40mm multi-barrel rocket launchers, mine-resistant ambush-protected armored vehicles, among others. The troops' morale is increased. The men are motivated and given their orders while the vehicles and other equipment are readied for the battle ahead. The soldiers are in bullish mood. Why is Boko Haram running, they ask. A bold strategy is adopted. Attack the adversary from all flanks and flush him from Nigerian territory. The soldiers are brave and determined. Indeed, there is no room for fear at this point. In advancing to Sambisa, there is no margin for error. All points need to be covered. Hundreds of soldiers are deployed as blocking forces in blocking formation at the likely escape routes of the terrorists around the forest. Boko Haram has no chance. Indeed, the end has come. The D-Day is here. Troops set out for the arduous task of fighting the adversary at his location. The battle tanks and armored vehicles take the lead while the troops follow behind. After several hours of grueling advance across the rugged terrain, the troops finally get to the start line. The advance into Sambisa is about to begin and then suddenly firing can be heard from the intended direction of advance. The troops smartly adopt requisite tactics and dash down and get into position as they await orders from their field commanders. At the Air Task Force Command of Operation Lafia Dule, pilots and other crew members plot the location of the terrorist firing positions with the coordinates provided by the ground troops with a view of conducting air operations in support of the massive ground offensive in the general area. Having got the right coordinates of the terrorists' positions, the fighter jets are scrambled for air interdiction operations to the identified Boko Haram terrorist enclaves in the general area.
the main battle tanks and other armored fighting vehicles take the lead and engage the terrorists firing positions. Indeed, the serious task is about to begin. The firing is intense and the terrorists cannot withstand the onslaught. The armored fighting vehicles and main battle tanks roll further into the enclaves of the terrorists, neutralizing scores while 100 others flee with gunshot injuries. From the skies above, the fighter jets and helicopter gunships bombard the terrorist positions, destabilizing the adversary. The jets conduct several runs in the area, neutralizing scores of terrorists and destroying several Boko Haram structures and vehicles at the enclaves. The troops exploit the general area. A large cache of arms and ammunition, vehicles and other equipment are recovered at the enclave. Troops also captured some of the terrorists alive. Victory has been secured for the day. The battle for the day has been won. The armed forces of Nigeria remains committed to securing the territorial integrity of our beloved country. We are committed to decisively continuing the activities of terrorists in the Northeast, having already brought them to the level of common criminality. Please support our troops. Together, we shall win this war.